Today I want to show you a couple of very simple techniques to get guitars wider, rock guitars in particular. Now I'm a big believer that rock sounding guitars recorded by rock guitarists, um, they tend to come the way they should sound. Rock guitar players, more than any other musicians I know, they're very, they're very conscious of their tone, their sound. So as you can see, I really didn't do much EQing or anything on uh, on, on these guitars. Now this is a pretty simple technique. Um, uh, we're, we're using uh, our old buddy, I'll show you. Now this is the sound as I was given it. Now you'll see it's going through this aux up here, taking out a little, little of the mud around five, and then I'm, I'm using the uh, UAD Fatso to give it a little vibe. round it out, smooth it out. Now, I, uh, I loaded up um, this preset Guitar Roadhouse Blues from uh, Isotope on their Trash plugin, which is a, I think it's, I think it's the most underrated plugin in, in the plugin folder. Check this out. <laughs> Gives it just that little lift, just makes it modern, that little edge. Now, our old friend, let's go up here and let me show you what, 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 what I'm doing up here. I've shown you this plugin for vocals. Um, what I've done is I've taken a doubler, and here's the setting on the doubler, a little bit of pitch, minus one, plus one, uh, a little bit of delay. Where's my delay? Yeah, a little bit of delay. I stay kind of close to the Haas range. Look that up. A uh, little touch of EQ and a little bit of widener. Now that's what you're going to hear going in and out. Okay, now that's my... Um, that's my verse guitar. I don't want it to be too wide because I, I, I need a little bit of room left for my chorus guitar. Now let's, let's see what we're doing with the chorus. We're going to do something completely different on the chorus. Okay, here's the chorus guitar. It's just simple. We're not, we're, not, we're not trying to reinvent the wheel here. We're just trying to very, 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 just kiss it. You know what I'm saying? If this were a meal, we're not adding a ton of jalapenos. We're just putting a little spice on it. Here's what I'm given for that guitar. Now here's a plugin I fell in love with. If you missed it for a while, this plugin was free by Sound Toys. It, it emulates the uh, micro pitch shift on uh, several of the Eventide products. Check this out. Yeah, that's, that makes it pretty stereo. And this is one of my favorite products. I love this. In fact, I was just talking to Dirk this weekend. Um, this is called, uh, it's by Brainworks. It's called their Saturator. It's a very, 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 very simple plugin to use, but it's a very complex plugin. Let's add that in. <laughs> Now, one of the features of this is, is this button here. Now, I'm taking everything below 300 and making it mono. Otherwise, I'm using a, a little tiny bit of the, of the width from the mid-side, the MS. And then I've got control over all these frequencies on the side and in the middle. And then it, the coloration is what I like. So here, here's why I made the low frequencies a little mono. See, I don't need all that mud on the sides. Let's let's keep that more. Let's keep the mud in the middle. <laughs> all righty. So let's let's check that again. Uh, so simple. Three plugins, two guitars, and 
one send and you call yourself a rock guitar engineer, all right? Cool.